Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Scott K. Ever since I have shared the tofu typing video, I have received a few questions on how I O-ring mounted the tofu to make it sound the way it does. Here is a quick clip of the said typing video. The Tofu series of keyboards are a tree mount design keyboard, which means the PCB and the plate assembly actually fits directly into the lower tray mounted onto the standoffs as you see here. Many keyboard enthusiasts feel that this hard mount creates less than ideal conditions for even noise and typing feel. In stock configuration, the entire assembly will fit in like so, making hard contact with a lower case and making every key press sound different, stiff, and causes all sorts of case pain. So we will be doing some modifications to bring out the best we can out of this Tofu 65. The Tofu features six total standoffs in its tray. For this O-ring configuration, we will be foregoing the center two and only using the outer four standoffs as you can see here. To begin, we will start by filling the lower tray with foam to help reduce the ping caused by the aluminum case and deaden any unwanted noise. The foam I am using is a zip and fit adjustable liner, which I will provide a product link in the description below. Make sure to cut out enough foam to fit both the lower crevice as well as the major flat surface of the tray. Make sure to tear out the squares to expose the standoffs so we could place the o-rings as well as the mount assembly on top. The O-rings I'll be using are silicone O-rings with a 4mm outer diameter, 1mm inner diameter, and a 1.5mm thickness. I will provide a link to the product in the description below. Use a small tweezer to carefully place the O-ring on top of the standoffs as you see here. Repeat this step for the remaining three standoffs. Once you have the o-rings placed on the four outer standoffs, it's time to place the plate and the PCB assembly back into the case. Carefully position the PCB and plate assembly angled down towards the back and gently lay it down without knocking any of the o-rings off the standoffs. This may take a few tries so take your time with this. If done right, you should be able to see the O-ring underneath like so. Now you take a screw and an O-ring and push the screw through the O-ring like so. This is so that when the assembly is screwed down, there is no hard mounting and the PCB will be sandwiched between two soft O-rings. Now take your screw with the o-ring and use a small tweezer to hold it in place. Push down the plate assembly so that the lower o-ring on the standoff doesn't fall out and drop in the screw into the hole carefully like this. Now use a screwdriver to push it through and carefully push and turn so that the screw can penetrate the lower o-ring and catch on the thread. Do not tighten all the way, just enough so that the screw has caught the thread. In order for this to be effective, you must allow the o-rings to have enough room to flex which means you cannot tighten it so much so that it just flattens the o-ring. In order to achieve this, 
I take a bit off my screwdriver and hand tighten it carefully to prevent any over tightening. Now repeat the process for the remaining three standoffs. Once done properly, you should be able to see the plate flex up and down, creating a softer typing experience and a much more even sounding tofu. Congratulations, you have elevated the tofu from a mere tray mount to an O-ring upgrade. Once complete, you'll notice how much more even the keyboard feels and sounds. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please like and subscribe, and I will have more content to share with you in the future. Let's finish this off now with some typing sounds.